Let's get to know the direction sort meta program. The direction sort meta program tells us how somebody is motivated. Are they motivated towards what they want or away from what they don't want? What you'll hear in someone's language is they will be sharing with you and telling you, is there a benefit or a goal that they're moving towards or a consequence or a punishment they're moving away from? If someone is motiv motivated by not meeting a deadline, they're moving away from. If they say, however, I really want to make that or exceed that deadline, they're moving towards meeting their goal. If someone says, I, I'm going to the gym because I don't want to be fat, that's moving away from. I go to the gym so that I'm healthy, moving towards. Where this comes in handy is if I want to motivate someone or help them be motivated for themselves, I want to know about their meta program. Are they moving towards or away from? It's been said that we need a little bit of towards and a little bit of away from for long-term motivation. And I know that's true for me. But I also know that there are certain aspects in my life that I'm absolutely moving towards and some that I'm moving away from. Cleaning my house, for example, I move away from. You tell me that my cleaner's coming over or somebody's coming to visit or there's a house inspection of some sort, I'm moving away from being embarrassed by the clutter in my house. Other people, they just clean. They just move towards a clean house. It feels good for them. I don't notice the clutter too much. It's not awfully bad, but it's there. When I hear this, is somebody moving towards something or away from something? Again, this tells me how they're motivated. It tells me how their mind connects to get the start button pushed. If I know that for my teenagers, it's going to be at a heck of a lot, not just teenagers, but people in general, kids in general. When I know that from someone, I can help them to push the button that says start. Sometimes if people are not motivated by the reward, they might be motivated by the consequence or the punishment. What might happen if they don't do something? So figure that out. We don't, we sometimes think that people have to be motivated towards something. Absolutely not. One is not better than the other. It just happens to be in that context, what get their engines going? What gets their engines going? And that's important information. Therefore, if I'm communicating with someone, I can use that language. I might have a salesperson and they might be motivated towards achieving the reward, the commission at the end of the month. So I might motivate them by saying, hey, what do you need to do in the last couple of weeks to reach your goal and get that reward or get that commission? Or, hey, there's a vacation coming up at the end of that if you get that. Or we have a, a special party for our sales team if we reach our certain goals. But those same things are not going to motivate somebody that moves away from. For somebody that moves away from, and yes, some salespeople are away from driven. And they're not motivated to the reward. They're not motivated to get that commission just because they're not. But they might be motivated away from losing their job, away from not being at the top, away from losing out on money. So I might need to change how I say it and say, hey, what do you need to do by the end of the month so that you don't lose out on some of that commission? Same thing as what do you need to do to get the commission? But I'm saying it in a way that's moving away from, away from the consequence to not miss out, to get the reward. I remember years ago when my nieces hung out with me for a, a weekend and there were toys everywhere. One of them at that moment in that context of cleaning things up was very towards and one was very away from. So I said to one of them, I said, hey, go and clean up your toys, pick up five things, come give me a kiss. The reward was the kiss. They liked that. So she ran off. She picked up her things, came back, gave me a kiss. The other one, I said, hey, no kisses for you until you go and clean up five things. Again, the consequence, no kiss. And she, oh, fine. And she sulked off. She went, picked up five things and did my five things. And she gave me a kiss. How nice is that? I got a kiss. 
and the things were put away. How cool is that? So this towards and away from, this is the direction sort, how we're motivated. Again, it's not a personality trait. These might change context by context, but keep in mind as you're listening to people, are they moving towards what they want or away from what they don't want and use their language to motivate them? Direction sort.